Hello everybody, this is Ben with another video. In today's video, we're going to turn this zombie dungeon into a uh, XP farm. So my plan here is to make a XP farm, but also to make it look pretty cool. Um, to do that, I'm planning on having this wall here be uh, solid glass. But first, I have to kind of dig out around. Now, a spawner will spawn um, within an 8x8 area of it. Uh, this area is not centered on the on the spawner itself, of course, because um, eight is an even number. So it's actually kind of off. I don't remember whether it's to the west or whether to the east or whatnot, but that doesn't really affect us. We're gonna do a nine by nine nine room because we want this to look nice and symmetrical from the outside. So I'll finish up uh, excavating the area I need and then we'll come back. Okay, so we've cleared out all the area around it. Uh, four blocks on either side and then two blocks below it. So. Now we have the hard part, difficult part, to decide if I'm just going to drop it straight down 23 blocks or if I'm going to collect them, bring them up, and then drop them somewhere, perhaps over here. Excellent. Um, There seems to be a cave system down here. Um, I don't know how far go it goes down. But I'm going to dig down uh, 23 blocks and see what's there. If it's not too bad, or if we don't hit anything major, uh, it might be a better idea just to drop them straight down here, and then just go down and, and kill them that way. And it seems we had a bit of a snafu down there. There's a pretty big lava lake. But more importantly, I didn't realize we're actually at Y21 here, so we can't go down 23 blocks. And since I don't feel like uh, using a sword to kill these things, um, we aren't going to uh, do a shorter drop than 23 blocks. So instead, we're going to bring the zombies to a central point using water currents. Uh, bring them up 23 and then drop them. Um, I think we're going to drop them here. So I'm going to uh, fill in the floor, cook up some uh, smooth stone, fill in the floor walls and uh, do a little bit of the ceiling and uh, get back to you on that. Okay, so I smoothed out the wall. I think I'll leave the ceiling as is. I think it adds a nice character to the area. And now we can start adding our water. So this room is nine wide. Well, first I'll talk a little bit about spawners. Uh, the spawners will spawn mobs in midair. 
So it will spawn right below and to either side and above. One block above and below and uh, eight blocks as I said previously. So, and water can only travel eight blocks. So I'm going to put water across that side there. Whenever the zombies spawn, they'll fall in. They'll get pushed into this trough, which will have water pushing them this way. They'll fall down here, which will then push them over here. Where a mob elevator will bring them up 23 blocks to be dropped. Um, and I think um, we'll have the kill chamber be right here in the middle of this. So that's the plan. Okay. Okay, next we're going to dig up the drop, sh drop shoot. Um, as you can see, we're at level 23. We need to drop a zombie from 23 blocks uh, to leave him at half a heart. So we're going to have to go up to level uh, 46. Another issue I have is that this block here where we're dropping them is in line with this block here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig out uh, the elevator part. It's going to uh, be right here so I can bring them up here, bring them all the way up to the top, push them over here, drop them down, add them in here, I kill them, and they drop they're goodies for me and their XP. Um, I don't think I'll have like an automatic hopper system here to collect them because I'm going to be killing them manually so I can easily just grab the items myself. Uh, in the future if I find that it is too difficult to do that I could add a hopper but right now I'm not planning. Okay, so that's done. I got 40 or uh, 23 blocks high. Dug down. Now I just need to make a bunch of signs to do a uh, mop elevator. In case this in glass. And uh, seal this off in glass and probably add a uh, iron bars here to make it look nice. So, how a uh, mob elevator works is that mobs will always swim upwards. Well, except for slime. Slime sink to the bottom, but mobs will always swim. So, and mobs are also uh, two blocks high. So, if you alternate source blocks, um, one source block, one sign, one source block, they'll swim up to the top. I want to make sure these are source blocks and not running water. If these are running down, then they will push the mobs down and they will drown instead of swimming up to the top there. Uh, that's a weird bug in the game. I just put two signs here to uh, Block off this water and cut off the flow without actually um, 
stuff in this water source. That is weird. Now if I take this away... Huh. That is now its own source block. If I move the sign. Huh. Well, that's weird. If I have that there first, um, this is seem to have that issue. Okay, so I've completed the mob elevator, and we can test it out. So this is going to kill me because I'm, I'm down one and a half hearts, but. So you spawn anywhere here, you get pushed down here. Like so. Get pushed into this water stream. You swim. All the way up. Takes a while. And then you get dropped. And if I do that correctly, they should have half a heart left and I can just punch them for the experience. I've added glass to this side here so we can uh, finally remove our torches. Um, I just remove all my equipment and stuff and just go in there and remove them manually. I don't really care if I lose these torches. Got plenty of coal. Probably got idea to remove the ones closest to the exit first. That way, if any zombies spawn, they will spawn. And fall in, and not be able to chase you. Like that. I will be able to get that torch back. I didn't think about that, but, uh... Actually, zombies would make a pretty good... Uh, I had an elevator for you. And that they would bring your items for you. Now there's no mechanism for turning this off. Uh, eventually I'll probably come back in here and put some lamps or something. But for right now, I'm going to be using this as my main XP farm, so I don't see much point in that. Probably.
It'd be all most of the time. Yeah, so it looks like the damage from falling is uh, more random than it used to be. It seems quite a few of them are just dying from the fall. Some of them are living and taking several hits to uh, be killed. But, uh, not much I can do about that, I guess. This is only a temporary XP farm until I can get to the end to make a uh, Enderman grinder anyways. Before I leave off for the day, I thought it would be a good idea to I thought it would be a good idea to uh, do at least one enchantment. Uh, for that I'll need to collect uh, Make some bookshelves. I think you need 15 bookshelves to get to the maximum enchantment now. So, uh, for now, we'll just use this main area here as our library enchanting area. So, I'm going to have to do some uh, cow farming before I'm able to get up to level 30. But in the meantime, I thought it'd be nice to enchant our sword. So we got here. Nice. Um, another added benefit is we get potatoes, carrots, and uh, iron ingots out of this farm. So it's pretty cool. I'm hungry. And so I think next time we will uh, create a tree farm. I think that'll be pretty fun. I have some jungle trees that we can uh, use. So. Until then, uh, have a good day. See ya.